This is Fatherhood Secrets for Deadbeat Dads. We're gonna talk today about the greatest cuss word you can teach your kids to avoid. And it's not the F word, it's not see you next Tuesday, it is not the B word, it's none of those. It is the word try. In my household, we do not allow our kids to say the word try because if they try to do something, I'm gonna try to do it, that means they're gonna embed a small portion of being okay with it not coming to. It's not coming to fruition. And so we are not okay with that in my house. And so we realize that we are the greatest examples. And I was so bad at this. When I was growing up, 19, 20 years old, I used to tell my bosses all the time, I'll try to do inventory. I'll try to get to it. I'll try to uh, complete the order. I will try. But they always had this, this level of discontent with me. They always hated when I said it. I never really thought anything about it. I thought they just didn't like me for whatever reasons. It could have been the color of my skin. It could be the way I look, the way I talk. But here's the ticket. Saying the word try doesn't sit well with anybody because it breeds a level of failure. And when you talk about failure, you wanna talk about learning from failures. There's a saying that you never lose, you learn. So if you don't fail, you learn. But you do lose if you don't take that seed a failure and really, really uh, examine it and, and try to build some success from it. So the word try is a cuss word in our house. We do not say the word try, we don't allow to say it. And in fact, if any of us say it in the house, we call each other out on it. This is not something that breeds the mind to work in the capacity of which it was supposed to work. We are very definite people and we will accomplish our goals. That's how we act, that's how we respond, and that's how we're gonna be successful. So do not allow your kids to say try, which means you can't say try either. So hit that subscribe button, notifications, turn them on, cheers.